it is time to find out what the real world range is of the Volvo EX30. My name is Bastian and welcome to Recharging. The Volvo EX30 that is standing over here is the single motor extended range version and that one has a WLTP range of around 475 kilometers. And today it might be able to do that because the conditions are pretty good. It is around 20 degrees Celsius and there is not too much wind. So what can you expect? Well, first I will do a range test at 100 km per hour and in that range test I will also calculate how much energy I can get out of the battery. Then I will do a consumption run at 90 km per hour to simulate those mixed driving conditions and one at 130 km per hour and based on how much energy I can get out of the battery and that consumption run you will get the range at those speeds and that is it so let's go i just entered germany so you know what that means it is time for a top speed range test. no it's not no it's not it's not time for a top speed range test no it is time for my 100 kilometers per hour test yeah i am trying to get my average speed to around 100 kilometers per hour for my 100 kilometers per hour test and for my how much energy can I get out of the battery test which is basically my 100 kilometers per hour test anyway the car has used 10% state of charge at this moment a bit more but when the car had used 10% state of charge I had driven around 40 to 41 kilometers so the range while driving 100 kilometers per hour seems like around 400 kilometers in this type of weather the average consumption at the moment is 16.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers not bad not amazing but not bad and maybe maybe uh, you can get the WLTP range with this car while driving on mixed roads but I will find that out later during my 90 kilometers per hour test and on the highway while driving 130 kilometers per hour I have no idea I have no idea anyway it is still light I always like that that is great about summer and doing range tests in summer in the evening I will keep on driving you will get another update at 25% state of charge yeah that's it let's hammer it uh, not hammer it let's drive it yeah so one thing I like less about the summer is all the box plats it's not that bad at this moment because I am not driving that fast but still yeah I have to clean the car when I am going to record my review I definitely do anyway I have been driving a little bit more the car has used 33% at the moment and on that 33% I have driven 130 kilometers so the range is still around 400 kilometers but probably a little under so somewhere between 390 to 400 kilometers something like that the average consumption at the moment is 16.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers which isn't bad but i expected more from a compact car because that is the same result as i've got with a volkswagen id4 which is twice as big in terms of interior space and it was worse weather during that test the weather was worse during my test with the Volkswagen ID4 so yeah again it's not bad but for a compact car I expected more maybe it will improve on my on my return way that is not proper English it's really not maybe it will improve on my way back yeah that is proper English but probably not or not by a whole lot so this is probably going to be the result but I have to say for such a compact car the Volvo EX30 is a really nice car to drive it drives like a compact car which is thumbs up not a blobby SUV but a compact car that drives like a compact car I love that I love that but it's also comfortable and quiet it's a really pleasant car to drive also the seats are really good I mean Volvos always have good seats yeah again it's a really nice car to drive actually really nice car anyway i will keep on driving until i have used 50 percent state of charge then i'll do my 90 kilometers per hour consumption run 
than my 130 kilometers per hour consumption run. So I am doing my 90 kilometers per hour consumption run and the car is consuming between 15 and 16 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, which is okay, but not amazing. It's not super efficient. Again, it is okay. And yes, it is dark as you can see because it is evening. I got some complaints about this because people can't see shit when it is dark. I understand that, but I have to do these tests when I am not doing my regular job. And I am not doing my regular job when it is evening, so it is dark. I mean, it is summer now, so it is, well, it is light for a pretty long time. In winter, it's even worse, so be happy, be happy. Anyway, I will keep on cruising for another, what is it, 20 kilometers or something, 15 to 20. And then it's time for the 130 kilometers per hour consumption run. And then I'm done. Then it's time for the result. I am doing my 130 kilometers per hour speed run. I just turned around at my turnaround point. It rained over there, so the road was a little bit damp because the rain hit the warm tarmac. Then it gets a bit foggy above the road. Looks really cool, looks really cool. But anyway, 130 kilometers per hour. The car is comfortable, the car is quiet. The Volvo EX30 is a really, really nice car to drive, it really is. Yes, I'm still recording, I was checking that. But again, it is a really nice car to drive. While driving 130 kilometers per hour, the car is consuming around 25 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And well, that is the same as what I said before. It's not great, it's not bad, it's okay. Let's go to the right, because that's what I, that is what I have learned during my driving lessons. Again, it is okay, it's not super efficient, it's not super inefficient. Eh, eh, that, that's what it is, eh. I mean, my daughter of 11 weeks can say that too. What is this Volvo? Eh, yeah. Anyway, I will keep on cruising for another 15 kilometers or so, and then you will get the result. So I am done with all my tests, so let's get to the result, right? First of all, the result of the 100 kilometers per hour test. So I started the test with 75% state of charge and I finished that test with 25%. So that means I've used 50%. On that 50%, I have driven 193.3 kilometers. So the range while driving 100 kilometers per hour is 386.6 kilometers. The average consumption was 16.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And based on all these numbers, I calculated that I could get around 64 kilowatt hours out of the battery pack of this Volvo EX30 extended range. So let's move on to my 90 kilometers per hour consumption run. During my 90 kilometers per hour test, I drove 90 kilometers per hour for around 40 to 50 kilometers. I got an average consumption of 15.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So if I take that 64 kilowatt hour battery pack and have an average consumption of 15.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, that means I can drive 408 kilometers while driving 90 kilometers per hour. And I have to say 408 is far off the WLTP range of 475 kilometers. Yeah, and the conditions were pretty good. I mean, it was again, around 20 degrees Celsius and not too much wind. So then getting 408 kilometers, eh, yeah, I don't think even in really good conditions, better conditions than I had, you can get the WLTP range. Yeah, maybe when driving in the city, so you're stopping and regenerating energy a lot, but when driving on the highway, no, no, you can't forget it. It's not possible. I mean, it is not bad, but it's also not great either. I mean, these are the exact same or almost the same consumption numbers as the Volkswagen ID4. And that car is twice as big in terms of interior space. And my Kia e Niro is more efficient than this. So again, it is okay, but it isn't great. Let's just say that just like the Volvo EX40, you don't buy a Volvo for its efficiency. It drives great though. The car drives great. Okay, <laughs> then the range at 130 kilometers per hour because during that consumption run also 40 to 50 kilometers i got a average consumption of 24.8 kilometers so that means that 
when driving 130 kilometers per hour, you can get around 258 kilometers of range. And well, the same things apply that I said before. So yeah, that was it. Again, the car drives great, but it's just not that efficient. It is okay, not bad, but again, it is okay. Anyway, that was the range test. Thank you a lot for watching. You know the drill, like, comment, subscribe, and then as always, to be continued. Mm -hmm.